What's poppin'? What's dropping? This your boy live and direct in full effect out the A32. Y'all already know how Jimmy J Smooth do. I just got off of a live stream with Ticket TV, um, and he was saying some things about uh, uh, Fred from Barbershop Conversations. He said he got hung up, hung on the, you know, he hung up in his face and shit like that. All I gotta say. Is I told y'all so. I told you so. And I've mentioned this. Um, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've mentioned this on Beverly Rose show. Or World Breaker fighting. You know. Which pretty much World Breaker. Pretty much is not on YouTube anymore. Unless y'all know something I don't know. But I've kind of mentioned. You know this in a in a in a roundabout way that that barbershop conversations is on some tap dance and bug dance and shit you know what i'm saying either beverly rose or um i know for sure this was mentioned at least around world breaker fighting i can vouch for that for sure but he's not on youtube like that anymore as far as i know unless y'all know something that i don't know you know what i'm saying and uh you know, I don't know the status of y'all relationship with World Breaker. So, you know, hopefully that's a good status, but hopefully that's a good relationship still. But nevertheless, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not going to nevertheless. I've been warning people about Fred from Barbershop Conversations. Many, many probably going back to 2015 because he would say a lot of slick shit that rubbed me the wrong way. One of the things that rubbed me the wrong way, and like I say, there's times where I don't agree with members of the LDBC, people like, uh, you know, people like 78 a ticket, and this is no uh, shade thrown. You know, there's times where I don't agree with Coach Sheldon Harrison, and I'm, I'm fucking cool. That's like my homie. That's like the big homie to me. But nevertheless, there's times where I don't agree with them. But there's a difference between me not agreeing, dis disagreeing to disagree with them, and then Fred from Barbershop Conversations. Fred from Barbershop Conversations has been bug dancing for years. It's just if you, li I really, before I, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, and the only reason why I, I fuck with Fred from Barbershop Conversations was really members of the LDBC. The only reason why I fuck with Fred from Barbershop Conversations because people from the LDBC was co-signing him, but I did not, you know, had access enough to tell them like, dude, this dude is not, is not cool, you know, or keep your eye out for him. But I've said this on the show before with members of the LDBC because I've been on several different shows from 78 Sports. I've been on the same platform is is black fan, fan tv a couple of times myself but i've been saying this for years and if anybody got that got a tape of that uh you know put it out there man because i you know or if, if it's still accessible put it out there but i've been warning people you know my boy uh t real my boy t moore he can tell you that i've been warning people about barbershop conversation for years and i've never Really just fuck with him, fuck with him. He have some good, some good philosophical shit to say. But after seeing this go to a, go to an ugly head with Ticket TV, it's kind of like, you know, it's only a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm the type of person that sometimes I may jump the gun by charging people to the game. And then sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm spot on. But I specifically say, Fred, I've said, said this. You know, I don't know if I said it directly, but I've said it to the extent that Fred be buck dancing. I've been saying that for years. You know what I'm saying? For the for the meat and short of it. But I've been saying that for, for many, many years. And it just kind of came to an ugly head. If he hanged up on him, because I don't know the, the backstory, but I, I that's believable. It's very believable. So I'm gonna take ticket at his at his at his word. But, it, you know, I because I believe he did hang up on him. But if he did hung up on him, and if and this is verified, Fred, people need to need to charge Fred Barbershop conversations to the game. People need to charge him to the game. 
And I'm not shocked about it. This is something I'm not shocked because he was always say some real, real out of the way, slick little shit that people did not catch on. If you've been listening to barbershop conversations long enough, he just said some cool shit uh, and you didn't you didn't catch it. But, you know, only reason why I fuck with him because people from the LDBC co-signed him, you know, and I'm not putting this on the LDBC you know what I'm saying? That they allowed a snake to get in, but sometimes you don't see the snake until he bites. He, you know, he don't see the snake until you you feel the poisonous venom. But nevertheless, you know, um, it's it's no shock that 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 Fred is a buck buck tooth bug dancer. So once again, this your boy live and direct in full effect at the eight three two. Y'all already know how I do. <laughs>